This episode of Gizmo Slip is brought to you by Ting. What's up YouTube and welcome to Gizmo Slip, the show where we unbox, review, and drop test the latest in technology. Today we are going to be drop testing the new iPod Nano. Alright guys, so we're going to be taking the iPod Nano and we're going to be dropping it onto its back, onto its side, and onto its front. All of this is going to be done from 4 feet, so it's a standard height, we do that with all of our drop tests. So it's a fairly light device, so it definitely has that to its advantage. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of momentum carrying it into the ground, but at the same time the glass is literally above the encasement, so that is a uh, huge telltale sign that it's probably going to break. But who knows, it might survive. Let's go ahead and drop test this thing. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and get onto the four foot drop test onto its back. Three, two, one. Okay, so that thing is insanely light and it just tilted right onto its side instead of onto its back. Uh, so we're gonna count that as the side drop and uh, let's take a look and see how it did. There's a minor scuff up on the top. The screen turns on just fine and it's reactive. So it just survived the side drop. Let's go ahead and get on to the backdrop. See what happens. Hopefully I don't screw it up this time. It's a slight gust of wind right now, but it's perilous because this thing is so light and tiny. I don't want to do another accidental side drop. So uh, let's see. Right, four feet. It's back. Three, two, one. Okay, so I totally just dropped it onto its face instead of its back. Uh, we got to the face drop a little early this time. Uh, that was a pretty solid face drop though, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see how well it did. Um, here's hoping that it survived. Oh no, there is definitely a crack on the screen here. Let's see if we can get the light to refract on a little bit. Well, the accidental face drop was a little, little more than this thing could handle. It actually did crack on the upper screen. Uh, the screen, still functional. Anyway, as you guys know, it is sponsors who make this show possible, and I'm really excited about this week's sponsor. Uh, so let me go ahead and tell you about them. If you haven't heard of them yet, Ting is a mobile service provider with a very unique approach to their payment plans. You see, unlike with most service providers, you only pay for what you use. They break down in minutes, messages, and data exactly what you use each month and only charge you for that. Meaning you're never going to have to deal with crazy overage fees and you only get charged for what you use. So if you actually go underneath your allotted budget for the month, they actually credit you back the difference. Which in my opinion is amazing because you're only getting charged for what you use and not what you don't. Ting actually has this really useful tool that you can check out. If you go to gizmoslip.ting.com, you can actually calculate what you're currently using in terms of the minutes, texts, and data, and then break down what you'd be charged through Ting versus through what you're getting charged through your current provider. And what's even better is that if you decide you want to sign up for Ting, you actually get a $50 credit just for being a Gizmoslip viewer. So if you decide that you want to go with Ting, just go to gizmoslip.ting.com and you will actually get a $50 credit towards your plan. It's just their way of saying you guys are awesome. Now onto the drop test. So it definitely failed the face down drop, as accidental as that might have been. Uh, we're going to try to do it onto its back. It's not a survival, so either way, it's still screwed. This is hard to drop test. This is really hard to drop test because it's so light. Let's see if I can not screw this one up. All right, as you guys can see, uh, wind is definitely causing some issues right now. Uh, I'm going to try to get this anyway because we're almost out of light. Um, if I can do this. Four feet. Moment of truth. I gotta get this. Backside drop. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, got it. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the drop tests were a little bit out of order this time, uh, but we did get a side, a back, and a front drop without having to do any extras. So uh, success, failure for that, but success. 
All right, guys, so even the drops were a little bit out of order. It definitely did not survive the face down drop, which means we do have to destroy it. So your question for today is, how do you guys want us to destroy this for Monday? Go ahead and throw out some ideas that we have not done yet, uh, just creative stuff that might be fun to do. So tune in Monday for the destruction. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Yeah. It was mostly.